the produce section. This wonderful patchwork of colors and shapes can be found down the aisles of grocery stores and displayed at farmer's markets. It's here. Seeming to snap to attention, we find the mighty asparagus. When it comes to vegetables, this item is definitely on the A-list. Did you know that Alberta is said to be home to the best tasting asparagus in the world? To celebrate that fact, we're going to head north of Calgary to the Innisfail area, where, just 10 clicks further west, we discover Edgar Farms. I'm Elna Edgar, and I'm the asparagus queen of Alberta. Hi, I'm Doug, and I'm an asparagus farmer. I met my husband, Doug, when I was five years old. He uh, was my brother's best friend all through school, and, and he was in grade two, actually, when they, he started first started coming out to our family farm, which is 12 miles east of here, where I was raised. And him and my brother would play, and he'd spend the night, and, you know, I'd kind of hang around as the pesky little sister, and, you know, kind of got to know him, and we both went off to college, and, and after college, we started dating, and, and then got married. So, 1974, we were married. We two absolutely adorable daughters, Carrie and Angie, who were always very involved on our family farm as well. It was busy all the time, especially during the summer. We were always out in the fields, planting or harvesting or always doing something. My sister and I would have our little vegetable patches in the garden and, and we would seed and weed and harvest those vegetables and take them to market. and. Lots of pride involved in, in doing that. I always believed in you, uh, you don't give your kids the money, but you give them the opportunity, and then they appreciate it. In 1907, William Edgar Sr. and his family arrived at Ennisvale. The original homestead is still in the family today, which has grown to be six generations strong. There is some loyalty and some passion of farming because it's been there that long, and you really don't want to see it go away, so you try it maybe a little bit harder to to keep it in the family for generations to come. I was raised on a family farm, for sure, and, and I mean, mom and dad were both outside working and I was outside along with, and, and that's just the way it was. I'm out and about and I, I can run most of the equipment, and I do, I'm the combine operator, and I've just always been very involved with the day-to-day -day farming, rather than, you know, just a housewife or an off-farm job or anything. I, I am here and I am a farmer. It's early June and the harvest is in full swing. The one big thing with asparagus is it's seasonal. You know, you only get it part of the year, so it's, it's like an event. It, it doesn't happen until it's ready to come up, and then when it's done at the end of June, it's done till next year. We plant it right from a two-year-old crown. We plant, and then it takes three years uh, before we're harvesting any, so it's that wait and see, get it established, and then once you've got it established, it's there for we don't know how long, maybe 25 years, maybe more. The asparagus growing season is relatively short, so anything to help speed up the picking process is at the top of our tools of the trade segment. My tool of the trade is an asparagus buggy, which we use to travel down the rows and pick asparagus so that we don't have to walk, bend and pick. We can actually sit on the machine and watch the row go by as you pick the asparagus. You steer with your feet so that it leaves your hands uh, available for picking rather than driving. When we first started, I had a steering wheel on there, and all of a sudden you're trying to steer and pick at the same time. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and thought, how are we going to do this? So we just have, similar to an airplane, you just steer with your feet, and uh, away you go. Top speed, two mile an hour, maybe three at the most. So. We really don't use it for anything more than going back and forth. We don't pick even at that speed. We'd probably pick it less than a mile an hour, somewhere around there, I guess, depending on how thick it is and, and how, how fast you know, they want to go down the road. There is a five-speed manual transmission there with reverse, so you can choose a gear, and, and it, the pickers get quite good at it. They'll shift up and idle down and then it just kind of ticks along, goes slow and uh, keeps it quiet that way and you know and they still have their variable speed with the throttle and if it's going too slow they can you know, shift up a gear and away they go. The unique geography and cool climate provides the ideal soil conditions to produce many varieties of succulent vegetables and the perfect pasture to raise Angus beef the natural way. But on this particular weekend it's all about asparagus. When people come to our farm, to our asparagus festival, there's, there's tons of things to see and do. We have 
chefs that are here that are cooking up tastings of asparagus. And we have our asparagus mascot wandering around, asparagus. And uh, we do tours out to the field. And we're going to be doing a self-guided walking tour as well that you can walk out to the fields. And uh, tours up through the bundling shed. And we have a petting zoo. And, and we have a, a, a at a little display set up of, of our traditional agricultural things that we grow on our farm, the wheat, the barley, the canola, and what impact those things that are coming from our farm have on what you're purchasing in the grocery stores and how many things in the grocery stores actually contain products that are grown right here on our farm in central Alberta. So many kids that grow up in the city, they just don't have the opportunity to go out and see that hands-on. It's not that they don't know, but they just don't get to go and see it and get in touch with it. And that's what we really try and do with our visitors, especially the children. We get them right out into the field. We show them exactly how asparagus grows in the field. They can snap it right off and eat it right out of the field, which is something that people never have the opportunity to do. There is a real loyalty when people have come to the farm and they've seen the product, and they've seen the field, and they've you know, they've walked and they've met the producers and there's a, a very, follow, very loyal following that happens after that. The Asparagus Festival is part of the Country Drive event, Spring Showcase Weekend. Numerous vendors come together to display and sell their products, while executive chefs from local restaurants are on hand to serve up asparagus in a variety of ways. Stuff to very barky sauce that we make in the restaurant. River Cafe has formed a great relationship with, with a lot of farmers and we're really fortunate to be one of them. It picks up a lot of the smoke too, so all the, uh, the nice honey that's in it kind of lets it kind of take on all the smoke of the barbecue. When you're selecting a restaurant, that you, if you want to go and have a great meal at a restaurant, check out your, the menu and if they're naming the farmers on the menu and it's just a paper or something that they've printed, you found a great restaurant. And there's some dips if you want to try with dip. The tradition of connecting this farm to fork started 20 years ago with the formation of a marketing cooperative called the Innisfail Growers. We had five farm families uh, come together and we all grow our own things on our own farms, but we market cooperatively. I do asparagus and I do peas and I do beans are kind of my three main crops and from those I value add uh, so that we can survive 12 months out of the year at the farmers market. We combine all, our, all of our talents and we combine all of our efforts. It really is a good lesson in values. Uh, hard work pays off. Um, hard work is so important and I think that's for our children bringing them back here. It was really something that we wanted them to learn and to take away and hopefully carry on into their adult lives too. To experience the wonderful produce from Edgar Farms, you're welcome to visit their on-site store or the many farmers markets throughout the year. 